the two games I've played, with, um, I've been to see it. That I, I, I think that I saw two games. Like, How do get town in the football league? You know, it's like what? But when I watched the game, they're a good side. You know, and I, I thought we did well to get anything from that game. And then the the last game as well, um, and they won that game well. The, the, you know, they, they could have probably got a couple more goals. But I was impressed with the style of play. You know, um, I think the, from the first game they'd improved the second game because. I didn't see the. I thought I thought the miss Cook when he didn't when he, he he didn't play in the first game, did he? They brought him on, I think. But I think when he goes onto the field, it's 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 a different city because you need a goal scorer and you need a target man, and he can he can play the false nine or target man. And, and I think when I see him play, he reminds me a little bit of Bobby, a little bit, not quite, but yeah, there's some Bobby Campbell traits there. I'm sure he'll uh, he'll take that as a compliment. You were well, a right it's back. Meant to be the right back we've got now. Brad Halliday is on good form as well. Yeah, I liked fan him. Of him. Yeah, I liked him. I thought you know when I, what I saw of him, um, I, I I think he's got. I always look at players' start positions when the, when you're playing as a defender. You need to know where the ball's going. To go. You have to be assessing things all the time, and a few interceptions that was vital, you know. And um, I think he uses the ball well as well. So yeah, I was impressed with him. With somebody like Mark Hughes in the dugout, obviously you'll remember him from his playing days as well. How much more of a beast does that make Bradford City as a football club? How much appeal is there now for players to come to Bradford City? You see the crowds that we attract and you know we always have done in, in recent history. How exciting is this club? What is the, the feel like around the club from what you gathered coming to see the games recently? Yeah, I, I think it's noticeable. Um, I think the supporters expect that's, I think that's something that Mark has to be aware of, and I'm sure he is. But even though he has a name, a reputation, if he's not getting results, and if they're not, if they're not playing the same, the City fans won't allow, they won't have it, you know. So it, it's, it's always a fine line between success, especially for managers and failure. Um, and, but I think those two games, it was vital he got results, and he did, you know. And, and listen, the last game, he made two great substitutions, and and and. As a result, we got the points. So he's not a mug. He's no mug. He's been in the game a long time. He's played at the top level, so he understands what it takes. Are you hopeful, confident, even that you know a couple of consecutive seasons in the fourth tier now? This is the time now for Bradford City to kick on, and over the next few years, you will see that success. You will see it making the most of its potential. I think so. I think with this manager as well. I think if you if you don't do it with this manager, I think we'll have a you know it'd be an uphill task. You know, I think he has the connections, he has the contacts, and he started. I think even if he loses a few games, you have to give him um, time because I think he he understands what's needed. To understand what's required, and I don't understand why people change managers so often. It takes you a good two or three years to understand what's required before you can put things in place, you know. And I think that's what needs what's needed here: time. And I think Mark Mark's the right man for the job. It's just a case of having confidence in him and letting him do the work.